Mr. Harper, um, I'd like to talk to you about the Duffy trial and over the last number of days, um, the answer that you've given us, I understand. You believe that uh, Duffy should have repaid his expenses. He didn't. Nigel Wright did. And that you believe the two people responsible are being held accountable. But according to government documents, emails from within your office that are not being challenged before the court show that 12 people, not two, exchanged almost 500 emails over three months to craft a strategy strategy from uh, Mr. Duffy and were poised to deceive the Canadian people on his repayment scheme. Twelve people, not two. Why are you protecting them? You know um, my view on this. Um, I'm not certainly not going to comment on ongoing matters before the court that are being disputed, but the fact of the matter is this. It was Mr. Duffy's, it was Mr. Duffy's responsibility to, to, repay his, to repay his expenses. Mr. Duffy did not do so. Mr. Wright uh, permitted him not to do so. These are the individuals I consider responsible, and they are being held fully accountable for their actions. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC. Ask questions on the topic okay. at hand. Okay. Exactly. What about seniors? You don't have okay. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC, please. Hi, Mr. Harper. Thank you for taking our questions today. We appreciate that. Um, Nigel Wright and others have, as we've seen, concocted a deliberately deceptive story about the repayment that Mike Duffy made. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. I appreciate that. Pardon me? Go ahead. Anna, Anna, I'm going to start again. Uh, Nigel Wright and others concocted a deliberately deceptive story about Mike Duffy's repayment, the $90,000, and Canadians believe that he repaid that. As you just mentioned, you don't want to comment on the ongoing court matter um, and the specifics of the court case. I understand that. So let's talk about your personal feelings about this. Are you embarrassed by the way the Duffy issue was handled by the top people in your office, in the Prime Minister's Office of Canada? Well, look, uh, somebody said years ago, the uh, role of a leader is not to go around expressing his feelings. The role of the leader is to deal with situations and take action. Uh, Mr. Duffy, uh, as you know, and my view is very clear on this, uh, when I heard he had made the expense claims he had made, claiming travel expenses when he clearly was not traveling, I thought that was completely inappropriate and told him he should repay those expenses. Um, because of the actions of Mr. Wright, he did not repay those expenses. And that's why these two individuals have been held accountable by me and are being held accountable by the system. Christy Kirkup from the Canadian Press. Thank you again for taking our questions today, Mr. Harper. Just trying to understand, how is it possible that two weeks after the Wright Duffy check became, or the Wright Duffy deal became public, that you were still getting up in the House of Commons and saying that Mr. Wright was the only person that knew? How is that possible? Well, as I have said before, I've answered according to the information I had. As you know, Mr. Wright made some subsequent statements, and so I, of course, corrected the record, and that was over two years ago. Um, once again, um, Mr. Duffy was the one who took money, in my judgment, he should not have taken, and Mr. Wright is responsible for the fact that he did not pay that back as he was supposed to. 